Address Unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John! You must run! He's coming after you! He wants to catch you! They're closing in! John, I love you! Don't give up! I wasn't gonna give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. The stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop it! There he goes! Stop it! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the flamingo on them. I ran. So cool! Best show ever! The hero chases his serial killer, John Mira, and in the end, he's in this insane asylum toilet, and he looks in the mirror and sees the killer there. See, he's in the John, and he looks in the mirror, so it's like, John Mira, and he's the killer himself. Hey, I haven't seen it. Now you spoiled it. Thanks a lot. You haven't seen it? You haven't seen it? You have to see it. I can lend you the DVD, and they still have this cool website. You have to see it! Yeah, but watch it with the spoilers. You have a tumor in your brain. It's making you mad. We're forced to operate aggressively. The fake doctors were trying to confuse me, saying I was John Mira, pumping me full of drugs. No! None of that! Give it back! He's loose! He has the drill! Restrain him! No! No! All right now. Easy. Easy. Just hand it over. There's a good boy. Hey! Stay back! No! no! I was in charge, but still woozy from the drugs. I had to escape. I couldn't let them stop me. There, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Get away! Get away! Ah! Mind-bending finale in our return to Sender Marathon, the last episode of Address Unknown ever. The poet Poole, in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pink Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira? Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Huh. 